11강 도표 기출예제 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 남자가 주문할 접이식 카트를 고르시오. Honey, what are you doing on your laptop? I'm trying to choose one of these foldable carts. You know our cart broke yesterday. Oh, that's right. Let me see the ones you're looking at. Sure. There are these five. They all look good, but let's not spend more than $50. All right. How about the weight limit? Our last one was 30 kilograms. Hmm, that wasn't strong enough. Okay, then this one won't be any good. Yeah, do you have any color preference? The old one was blue. Why don't we get a different color this time? Good idea. Now, there are two options left. Which handle material do you like better? Well, metal gets too cold in winter. Good point. Then let's get the other model. I'll order it now. 1번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 구매할 전동 칫솔을 고르시오. Welcome to Jay's Electronics. What can I do for you? Hi, I'm looking for an electric toothbrush. Okay. These are the ones we have. Do you have a particular brand in mind? No, but I do have a budget. I'd like to keep it under $100. Got it. So, if you take a look here, they have different brushing modes. It's nice to have a variety of them. Right. I'd like to get one with at least four modes. Okay. That leaves a few great options. Oh, these have a pressure sensor. I really want to have that. That's a useful function to protect your gums. So, these two seem to fit what you'd like. Do you have a color preference? Everything in my bathroom is bright, so I don't want black. I'll buy the other one. Okay. Sounds good. 2번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 주문할 디지털 주방 저울을 고르시오. Honey, are you checking your social media? No, I'm looking at a site that sells baking supplies. We should get a digital kitchen scale. Great idea. Since we got the new oven, we'll be baking more. Right. Here are the site's five best-selling models. This one is pretty expensive. Yeah, let's keep it under $30. Okay. I prefer to buy one that's made of stainless steel or glass. Germs don't stick as much, so they're cleaner. That makes sense. And how many measuring units do you think we need? Hmm, I think we'll need at least four different units, such as gram, ounce, and pound. Okay, then we should get one of these two. Which color do you prefer? I think silver would look better in our kitchen. I agree. So let's order this one. 3번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 남자가 구입할 온습도계를 고르시오. Mom, I'm trying to find a good temperature and humidity sensor to buy online. I'd like one for my room. Can you help me? Sure. Have you found a website? Yes. This website has these five models. I'm not sure which one to get, though. Hmm, let me see. Where do you plan on placing it? I was thinking of putting it on the table. Okay, let's rule out this one, then. Oh, and make sure you get a waterproof one. That narrows it down to these three models. Do you think I should get a USB-powered one? Most of the time, a USB-powered one would be more convenient. However, for travel purposes, a battery-powered one might be more suitable. I won't be traveling with it, so I'll go for a USB-powered option. So now you need to choose between these two. What about this one? It looks good, but it's quite big. I'll buy the other one. Good choice. 4번. 
다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 예약할 투어를 고르시오. Darling, I brought this brochure from Tora Tora Island Tours. They offer some amazing tours. Wonderful. We're planning to visit there next month. Let me have a look. These all sound fun. Absolutely. I personally like this one the most, but I'm afraid it might exceed our budget. Right. Let's keep it under $200. Also, this tour won't work for me. I can't be on a speedboat. Really? I find it quite thrilling. I know, but I would definitely get seasick. I see. So, we need to choose one of these three options. Do you have any preference regarding the stops? Well, I've heard that Coral Bay tends to get really crowded. Let's skip that one. Agreed. That leaves us with these two choices. I love snorkeling. Me too. Let's go ahead and book this one. Perfect. I can't wait to go. 5번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 두 사람이 대여할 커피 메이커를 고르시오. Sweetie, since our coffee maker is broken, I was thinking we should rent one. Okay. Do you know where we can do that? Yeah. Check out this website. They have several models we can rent. All right. These all look good, but I think this one over $30 per month is too expensive for us. I agree. Let's choose one which costs less than $30. They don't all come with milk foam attachments. We definitely want that for cafe lattes. Right. Look, the remaining three have different minimum rental periods. Well, three years seems too long. I think two years is better. Me too. So then between these two, how about this one? It comes with coffee beans as a free gift. Sounds good. Besides, we already have a lot of mugs. Right. Then let's rent this one. Okay. 6번. 다음 표를 보면서 대화를 듣고 여자가 보러 가기로 선택한 아파트를 고르시오. Hi. Welcome to Maple Grove Townhomes. Hi. I'm looking to rent a studio apartment near Pacifica University. Are there any available? Sure. What's your rental budget? I can only afford a maximum of $1,000 per month. Okay. Do you need a furnished apartment? No, I don't. I have my own furniture. All right. How close do you want to be to the university? Well, I'd like to be within a 15-minute walk. Okay. We have a couple available. This one's on the fourth floor. Is that okay? Actually, I prefer a lower floor. No problem. Then how about this one? It seems perfect. Can I schedule a viewing for this Saturday at noon? Absolutely. Just write down your name and phone number here. 12강 짧은 대화의 응답 기출 예제 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Dad, we should leave soon to watch the fireworks in the park. Shall we bring something to eat? Yeah, we might get hungry. Oh, we also need the picnic mat to sit on. I think I put it on one of the shelves in the storage room, but I'm not sure. Then, could you find the mat while I pack some snacks and soft drinks? 1번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jake. How is recruiting members to open your school film club going? Not so good, Mom. I'm worried I may not be able to get the minimum number of members. Oh, really? How many members do you need? 2번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. 
Louise, you've had a lot more energy the past few days. Did you finally solve your sleeping problem? Hey, Mark. Yes, I did. I've started drinking decaffeinated tea instead of coffee, and it has helped. Glad to hear that. Actually, I noticed you haven't had a single cup of coffee this week, unlike usual. 3번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Mike. I heard you were looking for a new apartment. Have you found one? Not yet. I want to move closer to work, but there are not many places available. Well, my co-worker who sits next to me is looking for a tenant for her apartment. It's really close to our office. 4번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Wow, the restaurant parking lot is packed. I hope we can find an open spot. Then it's probably packed inside the restaurant too. I wonder if there are any tables available. Shall I run in and check while you park the car? 5번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, are you sick or something? You keep holding your stomach. Yeah, I have had an upset stomach since dinner. Do we have any medicine in the cabinet? No, we don't have any, but I can buy some at the drugstore. 6번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Emma, I see you're working hard on your tablet PC. Is everything okay? Hi, Brian. I need to edit some pictures for my geography report, but I don't know how to do it. I see. I know a convenient app for picture editing. Why don't you install it? 7번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Andy, are you almost finished with your work? All of the other co-workers are ready to head out for our dinner meeting. I know. I'm almost done. I just need to quickly finish writing this email. All right. Then I'll tell the others to wait a few minutes. 8번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hey, Amy. Cool bookmark. Where did you get it? I made it myself using an old calendar. Wow. What a cool way to make something useful out of an old calendar. I'm wondering how you made it. 9번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. So, how would you like your hair cut? Well, can you style the sides and the top like this picture? Hmm, so you want me to take some off the sides and leave it longer on top, right? 10번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Oh, honey, I know you want to get noodles from this restaurant, but look at how long the line is. It's because the noodles are so good. My friend said it's a famous restaurant. But I'm starving. I don't feel like standing in line for an hour. 11번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Dad, can we go shopping this afternoon? I want to get a cover for my laptop. Why do you need a new one? Don't you already have a cover? No, I don't. And I need one. I want to protect my laptop when I take it to school or to the library. 12번 대화를 듣고 
남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, could you come to the living room and take a look at this plant? It seems like it's not doing well. Sure. Oh, poor thing. We do water it regularly, but it might be lacking fresh air or sunlight. What do you think we should do? I don't want it to die. 13강 긴 대화의 응답 기출 예제 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Sean, you really rocked the runway as a senior fashion model yesterday. Thanks for coming to my first show, Grace. My pleasure. You'll be an inspiration to many people our age. I'm so flattered. It's amazing that you successfully switched careers. Thank you. My dream has finally come true. It couldn't have been easy to realize your dream in your 60s. It wasn't, but I've always believed in myself, and age was never an issue for me. You make me think of my old passion to be a painter, but I put it off for too long. Now is the time to give it a try. I think it's too late for that. 1번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Paul. What's up? Hi, Lisa. I'm planning to throw a surprise birthday party for Susan. Oh, right. Her birthday is next Saturday, isn't it? It is. How did you know? She told me last week at science class. We are on the same team for a science project. We recently became close friends. Oh, really? Great. Then, could you help me get the party ready? Of course. So, how many people are you inviting? I was hoping to invite eight, but I still don't know where to have the party. How about at my house? I can even put up some really cool decorations. Really? That'd be perfect. Now we need a good excuse to invite Susan to my house without telling her it's her birthday party. Hmm. You said you are on the same team at science class. Do you have any good ideas? 2번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jack, have you received the new bag you ordered online? No, I haven't, Mom. Wow, it's taking much longer than I expected. I know. It was supposed to be delivered by last Thursday. It's already been 10 days since you ordered it, right? Yes. I wonder what could have happened. Well, maybe it got lost during delivery. That happened to me a while ago. Really? So, what did you do? I called the company and asked where the product was. What did they do for you? They tracked my package and found out that it was delivered to the wrong address. The same may have happened to your package. 3번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jenny, you're a big fan of Judy Anderson, right? Yes, Kevin. She's my favorite figure skater. She's mine too. She's so amazing. Right. I was so happy when she won the gold medal at the International Figure Skating Competition last year. Me too. She seems to be in her prime. I think you're right. And do you know she advanced to this year's final in Italy? Yes, I heard about it. The final is being broadcast tomorrow morning, right? Yes, it starts at 3 a.m. here in Korea, and I'm going to get up and watch it. Well, I also want to see it live, but I'm not sure I'll be able to wake up so early. Try going to bed early tonight, and you should be able to wake up on time. Plus, it's Saturday tomorrow, so you can go back to sleep after watching it. True, 
but I'm still not sure I'll be able to wake up so early in the morning. 4번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hello, Mr. Wilson. Hello, Ms. Brown. How was the field trip with your students yesterday? It was great. We visited the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for a student program they have. I bet your students had a really good experience. Yes, they did. They had a chance to listen to a lecture and talk with some diplomats. Wow, that's a special experience. How did you find out about the program? I saw it on their website last month, and so I signed up for it. I see. I should take the political science club this time. That's a great idea. I guarantee they'll like it. But you should hurry up to sign up for the program at the website of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Why? Is it very popular? Yes, it is. They told me that recently a lot of schools want the program. 5번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, can I help you with something? Yes. I bought this sweater vest here a couple of days ago. Okay. Is there something wrong with it? No, it just didn't look good on me. Could I get a refund? Sure. As long as it has the original price tag and there's nothing wrong with it. Great. It still has the tag, and all I did was try it on once. Here it is. Yeah, it looks good. Do you have the receipt? Yes, here it is. Okay. Oh, you bought this vest on sale. I'm sorry, but we don't give refunds on sale items. Really? So I can't get my money back? No, you can't. But I can give you credit that you can use in the store. 6번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Joy, I was thinking we should head to the beach this weekend. You know, I won't say no to that. What beach are you thinking of? I was thinking of Bonnie Island Beach. That'd be cool. I love it there. I knew you'd like it there. There's a lot of stuff to do. The beach has volleyball nets, so I'll bring a ball. Awesome! Paddle boards are also available for rent. We should try that this time. For sure. And there are food trucks on the beach, so we can have lunch there. Perfect! I can't wait for the weekend. 7번. 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Amy, were you just talking on the phone in French? Yeah, I was talking to a college friend. Wow, I didn't know you spoke French. How many languages can you speak? I can speak four, including English. It's amazing that you speak four languages. Well, it's not like I speak them all perfectly. My French used to be a lot better, but I haven't used it for a while. Are you saying that it's important to keep using a foreign language not to forget it? Yes, exactly. Learning a foreign language requires constant practice. That makes sense. Not only does it take a lot of practice, but it takes a lot of patience too. Didn't you start learning Chinese recently? Yes, I did. But it's not easy to stick with it. 8번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Hi, Lucas. Would you like to work on our history project together this weekend? Hi, Isabella. Sure. That sounds like a good idea. Which day would you prefer to meet up? I'm available all weekend. How about you? I have a book club meeting on Saturday, so Sunday would be better. How about 2 p.m.? Okay. Where should we meet? The library is definitely the best place for us to study. 
They have plenty of resources available, and it's usually quiet. That's a bit far. What about the cafe down the street? They offer good foods, and their chairs are really comfortable. That's true, but I'm concerned about the noise level there. It can get quite loud at times. It shouldn't be a problem. They have quiet study rooms now. I can reserve a room for our project. That's great. Let's meet up there then. 9번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Dad, I got a notice that my package just arrived. Oh, what did you order this time? I got some clothes and shoes. It seems like you've been doing a lot of online shopping lately. Yes, online shopping is just so convenient and often offers better prices. True. But have you thought about the environmental impact of packaging and shipping? Honestly, it never crossed my mind. But you're right. Excessive packaging can harm the environment. Exactly. It's also important to support local businesses. Yeah, I haven't been shopping locally much. You should consider shopping more at local stores. It helps local businesses thrive. 10번. 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jeremy, I was wondering if you'd be interested in joining the badminton club I'm in. Hmm, that sounds like fun. I'm not good at badminton, though. I've only played a few times. No problem. The club is open to everyone, including beginners. How often does it meet? Twice a week. That's good. Will I have to buy a racket? No. The club has a bunch of rackets you can use. All you really need are comfortable clothes and sneakers. That sounds great. I'm in. It'll be also nice to meet new people. Absolutely. Everybody's really nice. You're going to have a great time with us. Thanks for inviting me. What should I do now? The pleasure is mine. Just come with me, and I'll send you a link to the club's social media page later. 11번 대화를 듣고 남자의 마지막 말에 대한 여자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Honey, I'm home. Hi, sweetie. Did you have a good day? Yes. How was your day with our little guy? Great. Kevin and I had a lot of fun. Awesome. What did you do? We baked cookies, played board games, and then read books. Sounds fun. By the way, it seems like you stayed indoors all day long. Right. I asked him if he wanted to go to the park and kick a soccer ball, but he didn't. He usually prefers staying home. I want to get him outside more for exercise. Me too. Do you have any good ideas? How about we all go on regular walks or bike rides together? He might find it hard to ride a bike. I'm sure he'd like your other idea better if we do it together. 12번 대화를 듣고 여자의 마지막 말에 대한 남자의 응답으로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Wendy, what are you watching intently on TV? It's a documentary about zoo animals, Dad. It deals with an issue about them. Why? Is there anything wrong with zoo animals? Yeah, some of them behave abnormally. How? They repeatedly move anxiously back and forth or in circles in the same spot. Hmm, it's probably because they feel stuck and stressed out in the zoo cages. Well, it would be better for animals to live in zoos than in the wild, right? No, zoo animals don't live in cages because they want to. Now I see. They could feel trapped in cages to satisfy our needs. 14강 상황의 적절한 말 기출 예제 다음 상황 설명을 듣고 제이크가 유나에게 할 말로 
가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jake and Yuna are members of a climbing club. Today, they're visiting a national park with other club members. At the top of the mountain, Jake sees a beautiful rock. He starts taking selfies with it. When Yuna sees Jake, she offers to take photos for him. Jake finds a great spot to take a photo with the rock and gives Yuna his smartphone. After Yuna takes some photos of him, Jake looks at the photos and notices that the rock is not in them. So Jake wants to ask Yuna to get another shot of him and this time include the rock. In this situation, what would Jake most likely say to Yuna? 1번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고, 제이슨이 안젤라에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Jason is taking a surfing lesson from his friend Angela, who is very good at surfing. Angela first tells Jason the basics of surfing on the beach, and then they go into the water. Whenever Jason tries getting up on the surfboard, he falls down right away. However, Angela kindly continues encouraging him to keep trying, and Jason finally succeeds. Now he thinks he is able to stand and stay up on the surfboard alone. Angela tells him to try surfing alone, and she goes out of the water. After surfing for about half an hour, Jason comes out of the water and goes to Angela. He wants to express his gratitude to her for helping him surf alone. In this situation, what would Jason most likely say to Angela? 2번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고, 로라가 헹크에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. In their second year of high school, Laura and Hank are both actively involved in different school clubs. Laura belongs to the school science club, while Hank is in the school drama club. For his club performance at the school festival last Friday, Hank borrowed a white lab coat from Laura for his costume as a doctor. Before returning the lab coat to Laura, he washes and dries it. However, while folding it, he notices the pocket is torn. Feeling sorry, Hank informs Laura about the tear and offers to buy her a new lab coat. But Laura wants to tell Hank that he doesn't need to do that because she has an extra one. In this situation, what would Laura most likely say to Hank? 3번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고, 알렉스가 산드라에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Sandra reads web novels on her computer every day to become a web novel writer. Recently, she read an article on eye health risks associated with electromagnetic waves. Worried about long-term exposure to electromagnetic waves, Sandra discusses this issue with her friend Alex, a computer programmer. He tells Sandra that he sits away from his monitor and takes frequent breaks while using the computer. He advises her to do the same. But Sandra says she believes she should do more to protect herself. Alex thinks she should install a screen filter that blocks blue light emissions from the monitor. So he wants to suggest that she apply a screen filter for her eyes. In this situation, what would Alex most likely say to Sandra? 4번. 다음 상황 설명을 듣고, 폴이 올리비아에게 할 말로 가장 적절한 것을 고르시오. Paul and Olivia are high school classmates who have been friends since elementary school. One day, Olivia complains to Paul about her English midterm exam score. She made a small mistake, 
but she received a lower score than she expected. Paul thinks it's unnecessary for her to get so upset about her score. Paul thinks Olivia is putting too much stress on herself, and that she should look on the bright side of her achievement. So he wants to say that she should be less critical of herself. In this situation, what would Paul most likely say to Olivia? 오번다음상황설명을듣고민디가제이슨에게할말로가장적절한것을고르시오 Mindy and Jason are both members of the school hip hop dance team. Recently, their team has been preparing for a dance performance at a local festival, which is next week. They've been practicing their dance routine together three times a week. However, Jason tells Mindy that he doesn't quite like the music because he thinks it's too slow. He suggests that they change the music to something that has a faster beat, but Mindy thinks it's too late to change the music now because they have less than a week before the festival. So Mindy wants to tell Jason that she prefers they not change their music. In this situation, what would Mindy most likely say to Jason? Yukban. 다음상황설명을듣고토마스가셸리에게할말로가장적절한것을고르시오 Shelly is considering buying a robot vacuum cleaner for her mother who has chronic lower back pain. So Shelly searches for reliable online user reviews of robot vacuum cleaners. She visits various websites and reads reviews for days. Thomas. Shelley's husband notices she spends too much time without a specific purchase decision, and he asks her why she hasn't decided which robot vacuum cleaner to buy yet. She tells him there are so many reviews that it's hard to choose which review to follow. Thomas wants to tell her that she first needs to set a few standards based on her preference, not to waste time. In this situation, what would Thomas most likely say to Shelley? 십오강복합이해기출예제일번과이번다음을듣고물음에답하시오 Hello, students. Last week we learned about upcycling, the process of reusing old materials. To make a new object more valuable than the original pieces, today I'll focus on how this eco-friendly practice is employed in architecture around the world. Our first example is a community center in Singapore called Enabling Village. Its buildings are famous for being made from old shipping containers. Second. We have a hotel in Mexico called Tubo Hotel. The capsule-style rooms of this hotel were built using huge upcycled concrete pipes. Next, Micro Library Bima is a small local library located in Indonesia. The building was constructed by arranging 2,000 plastic ice cream buckets. Finally, there is the circular pavilion in France. It is known for its exterior design, which consists of 180 reused wooden doors. Each of these examples shows how upcycling is applied in architecture globally to minimize our environmental footprint. Now, let's watch a video showing how these buildings were made. 일번과이번다음을듣고물음에답하시오 Hello, students. Have you noticed that AI is finding its way into virtually everything nowadays? It's even used in the sports industry. Let me share with you some examples of how AI is being integrated into various sports. First. AI is making its way into football. For example, 
One Spanish football club has implemented an AI system named Zone Seven. It uses medical data collected during training to prevent injuries from occurring during a game. Another AI is in rugby. It's difficult for referees to see everything that happens during a rugby match, so if there's any confusion, referees use highly complex AI video analysis tools to make the right judgment. Also, a lot of tennis players use a range of apps built by AI experts. Using the apps enables them to get automated analysis of shot speed and accuracy and analyze their games with more precision. Lastly, to combat inaccurate decisions made during a game, AI robots have been tested in baseball. They sit above home plate and accurately read pitches. There's no doubt that AI is already having a significant impact on sports. 삼번과사번다음을듣고물음에답하시오 Good afternoon, students. The year is coming to an end. Some of you probably have a New Year's tradition. This is also true for various cultures around the world, which welcome the change of the calendar with unique traditions. Here are some more unconventional traditions you likely haven't heard of. In Spain, it's customary to eat twelve grapes. Each grape represents good fortune for each month of the coming year. Residents of Denmark greet the new year by throwing old plates and glasses against the doors of family and friends to chase away evil spirits. In Brazil, wearing special underwear on New Year's Eve is thought to bring good luck for the next year. The most popular colors are red and yellow. And citizens of Colombia walk around with an empty suitcase on New Year's Eve to bring good fortune for their upcoming travels. Now let's watch some videos on this topic. 오번과육번다음을듣고물음에답하시오 Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our art lecture today. We'll talk about the fascinating flowers that great artists liked to paint as subjects. Vincent Van Gogh's sunflowers stand out as one of the most famous examples. His use of vivid colors and bold brushstrokes in these paintings is truly striking and unforgettable. Claude Monet is famous for his beautiful paintings of water lilies. He painted these flowers in various colors and with an impressionistic style. Henry Matisse, on the other hand, loved painting roses. Throughout his career, he created numerous paintings of these flowers using bright colors and simplified forms that became his signature style. And of course, poppies. Those bright red or orange flowers have always been popular among artists. Claude Monet's field of poppies is a fantastic example. The painting features loose impressionistic brushstrokes and bold, vivid colors that capture the essence of these beautiful flowers. Now let's take a look at these great paintings online. 7번과8번다음을듣고물음에답하시오 Hello, animal loving viewers. Welcome to my online channel, Animal World. I'm Alice Brown. I'm going to talk about companion animals. If you're thinking about raising one, there are some important things to consider. First, you should know their personality. If you know cats are independent and not social, it'll help you coexist with them. Second, you have to think about time. For example, dogs are active and enjoy playing, so if you don't have a lot of free time, 
It's not a good idea to raise one. Next, consider the cost. Parrots can be expensive to raise, just like other pets. Think about your economic situation before making any decision. Lastly, listen to what your family members think. For example, if you want to raise a hamster, but someone in your family doesn't like hamsters, it'll be difficult to keep one. Keep all these in mind and leave any questions you have in the comments below.